what's the best stance in NHL 21? What's the best stance for hybrid, butterfly, or stand-up? What stance do you use? What stance gives you the best save animations? This is one of the most popular questions I get asked all of the time. And the answer I give people has been the same for a very long time and it comes directly from the devs. They say that every stance is balanced. If you have a high glove or a low glove, the animations are blended so that you reach the puck at the same time no matter the position of your limbs. This is a hard pill for some people to swallow, so they think it's different. And again, I've always said this without being able to test it, but we finally tested it. So what have I found to summarize this video? Stances are purely cosmetic. Exactly what the developers told us is what happens. So knowing that the stances are purely cosmetic, if you guys want to check out GoalieGuildGaming.com and click on stances, you can see a full list of stances on your phone or on your laptop so that you don't have to go in game to check them out and pick one. Um, or you can just scroll through them in game and, and see them in this video here. But pick one that you're going to like the most. Now, I will say at the end of this video that there is a slight impact to how you play and how other play people play against you. But we'll get into that after we go through proving that these are purely cosmetic for save animations. I just want to give a quick shout out to Red Devil and the rest of the Goalie Lab channel just because they've been helping me test all these things and Red Devil was the goalie in these clips. So thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. He also recorded from his perspective, which is huge for me. Again, really appreciate it, buddy. So what we did was we took the widest stance, stance 49, I believe it is, it's got the widest base. And then we took the stance with the narrowest base, which I believe is 57 we used. It's one of the old school stances. And we took low shots. We aimed for the low glove corner and we took them from the exact same spot on the ice, the exact same style of shot. And the goalie did not move from the time they spawned in at the whistle. And what you're gonna see in this video is that the goalie's leg moves faster in the narrower stance to get to that puck, whereas the goalie with the wider stance is able to just nudge a little bit to the left and make the save. We tested this from different spots on the ice, and we've tested it with different styles of shots, and we also tested five hole, which is what I wanna show you, because you would think that you could be shot around in a narrow stance on your sides easier, uh, which we kind of disprove right here in this video, and you would also think that your five hole would be more vulnerable in either one of these stances. To me, I'm not sure in my brain, um, you know, a lower narrower stance with a huge five hole, but they're lower to the ice, so they should be able to drop faster. Um, whereas the narrow taller stance, the five hole's smaller, uh, but it still would take a while to drop down to the ice. So we tested five hole, and you'll see here, first of all, five hole looks extremely overpowered. Uh, the auto animation was ridiculous and the saves were made regardless. Um, the Where we found that you could get scored on in five hole is cutting out of the corner uh, and basically shooting when you're inside the goalie. Uh, at that point, you're not going to make the save anyway unless you drop the butterfly, which you should be doing. If you don't drop the butterfly when the puck is this close, you deserve to get scored on five hole, by the way. Uh, so that's where we noticed it came into play. So... Again, it doesn't affect the auto animations, but it does affect when you don't get an animation whatsoever. So if your goalie doesn't react, obviously you're at the mercy of where your limbs are. So if you have a wide base and a player shoots in the corner and you don't get a reaction, which usually happens when you're screened or the puck's in really tight, um, then you might have a better chance at making the save. That being said, it's all based on where the shot goes. So there's not a better stance to have because you can't predict where people are going to shoot more often but i have for the sake of accuracy i will say if your pad's in the way you're going to stop the puck and if it's not it's going to go in and you hope that you don't face too many chances where you get no animation but it does happen in this game let's talk about the other part that might impact gameplay a little bit again not the save animations but your perception of positioning so when we check our goalie to check our positioning, we're relying on the visuals. So if you have a wide stance, it looks like you're covering more net than you might actually be covering. And if you have a really narrow stance, it looks like you're covering less net than you're actually covering. 
Um, that's why a lot of people use stance 17, which is a really balanced stance. It's Henrik Lundqvist. I, I suggest using that if you have trouble with positioning just to start. Now, personally, I tend to overplay short side. So I like a wider base because it, it makes me look like I'm more in position than I actually am. Um, if you're a guy who doesn't move a lot in net and you, you, you underplay your positioning a little bit, maybe a narrower stance would help you move more because it looks like you're out of position. Again, that's not affecting save animations, that's affecting your own perception of your positioning. The last bit is that it does affect the shooter's perception. First of all, shooters know nothing about goalies. They think that stances matter and all this other crap matters when it really doesn't. Uh, it's a fun little trick to play on shooters. If you, use, if you use a stance with your glove tucked in, it leaves the top corner open and they will shoot top corner a lot. So keep that in mind. I don't know if there's a way to use it to your advantage. I don't think there really is at the end of the day because a lot of skaters do their own thing, but some will take the bait, and if they think it's open, they'll shoot there, and then your glove will just snap into position. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, stances are purely cosmetic, and don't worry about it. Use the one you like the most. Use the one you think that looks the coolest, and don't worry about it unless it's really screwing up your positioning or you want to play some fun tricks on the opponent. The next video is going to be on goalie builds and attributes, and we've done a lot of cool testing, so make sure you stick around to check that out. We'll see you next time.